Hello everyone, it's different doing a pre-recorded video, it kind of feels weird talking to myself. But uh, today I want to talk about the Pope's intentions for 2022. New year, new crazy intentions. So remember in previous years there were some strange intentions. Um, the Pope's intentions were very strange and one of them I think included an increased role of women in the church and we were like, okay, like women deacons? Like what are they trying to do? And uh, 2022 certainly brings its own set of challenges. So uh, usually, typically, there is uh, some sort of indulgence attached to praying for the Pope's intentions. But uh, these ones, take a look and see if you think you want to pray for these intentions. January's intention in 2022 is true human fraternity. So we're praying for Freemasonry. He says, we pray for all those suffering from religious discrimination and persecution. May their own rights and dignity be recognized, which originate from being brothers and sisters in the human family. So, okay, so wouldn't it be those suffering from religious persecution? Um, except the problem is they're Chinese Catholics, uh, but he has some Chinese communist bishops, and so he certainly wouldn't say that. And... It's not praying for just, it's not praying for Catholics suffering from religious discrimination, it's just praying for those in general. So that's kind of disappointing. And uh, true human fraternity, that's certainly been a staple of the Francis Church, but not the Catholic Church. Um, in February, he's praying for religious sisters and consecrated women. Uh, we pray for religious sisters and consecrated women, thanking them for their mission and their courage. May they continue to find new responses in the challenges of our times. Well, what about uh, for an increase in vocations to consecrated religious life for women because these orders have been decimated by modernism, and as a result, they have been in substantial decline ever since, well, about 50 years ago. March, a Christian response to bioethical challenges. <laughs> Vatican needs to take a look in the mirror. April, health care workers. May, faith-filled young people. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, June, the elderly. That's a good intention. That's, that's good. Uh, July, social friendship. We pray for the elderly who represent the roots and memory of a people. May their experience and wisdom help young people look towards the future with hope and responsibility. What about faith? <laughs> what about faith? That's a good question. In August, the prayer is for small businesses. Okay. September, the abolition of the death penalty. Absolutely not. It goes against Catholic doctrine. October, a church open to everyone. We pray for the church, ever faithful to and courageous in preaching the gospel. May the church be a community of solidarity, fraternity, and welcome, always living in an atmosphere of synodality. Yeah, I'm, uh, that's, not, that's not a Catholic intention. November, for children who suffer. Sure, we'll pray for them, especially the ones suffering under Chinese communist persecution. And December, volunteer not-for-profit organizations. We pray that volunteer not pro non-profit organizations committed, committed to human development find people dedicated to the common good and ceaselessly seek out new paths to international cooperation. So we have some loaded communist language here. Organizations committed to human development uh, find people dedicated to the common good. All right, these nonprofit organizations, they receive a lot of funding from the government, at least in the United States. The Catholic nonprofit organizations certainly make uh, a fair share of profit from, well, profit, they're nonprofit. They certainly make a fair share of their revenue from the United States government. But uh, yeah, we can pray for them. They're not tainted by pressure from politics. And that goes for the bishops as well. But uh, as you can see, these popes, some of these intentions from Pope Francis are not Catholic. Um, we need to pray for a conversion of the Vatican, really, because um, you know the Vatican is really, really 
perpetuating this anti-Catholic agenda, and it's it's really sad to see, you know. And there there is a question online people like to joke about. It says, "Is the Pope Catholic?" But at this point, that's the the answer to that question is not completely clear, which is very disappointing. Um, praying for the Pope's intentions, some of them are good. Some of them are not Catholic. Some of them are anti-Catholic. So pray for the conversion of the Pope. Pray for the conversion of the Vatican. Um, that's all I can say about the Pope's intentions. Another disappointing aspect of something the Vatican is doing, you know, and it's tough because I don't want to complain about Pope Francis all the time. I try not to. But when you see things like this, it's just point it out and move on. So thank you so much for watching. We are the laity, and we will not be silent.